Welcome back to the channel. So, you just bought the 8GB MacBook Air M1 and now you are doubting your purchase. And you probably have had many people telling you that you wasted your money, which is probably the single worst thing that somebody can ever tell you, especially if you're doubting it. So think of it this way. If 8GB was useless, why on earth would Apple sell it? Would it be so that you return it and get the 16 gigabyte model straight away? Let me tell you something. The MacBook Air 8 gigabyte version is the highest selling version because the majority of purchases are by people who use 8 gigabytes worth of unified RAM. Okay, unified RAM is not the same as the kind of RAM that you're going to get on a Windows machine. Okay, and if you're using it for general use and productivity, you are fine. If you are compiling massive programs or doing a lot of detailed 3D modeling, then eight gigabytes, guess what? It's still gonna work, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, now eight gigabyte on macOS nowadays is not like eight gigabyte on the Windows machine. It's miles better. I've got a 16 gigabyte Windows desktop, and I'm pretty sure this runs as good as that one. Okay, so check out my other videos whereby I've done a comparison between 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte. Not going to go into too much details on those benchmarks or specs here, but don't beat yourself down if you've just walked out with the 8 gigabyte version. There are people who are going to think 8 gigabyte is rubbish, maybe based on their experiences with Windows or just generally bad experiences they've had. And that's fine to think that. It's called an opinion. As long as they are not being too nasty or rude about it, just nod your head and just move on. You do what you feel is right. And to be fair, doing what you feel is right is kind of general life advice anyway. Now, having said that, the eight gigabyte version could potentially be an issue five years down the line when your machine becomes old and the latest Mac OS won't be able to run it. Let's be honest, most people will start thinking about changing their machines by then. But if you're just using it, for regular stuff, guess what? There's a chance you might not have any issues whatsoever. And people with five-year-old MacBooks now have still got the Intel chip. This one has the M1. And there's, chance, there, there's a big chance that this will last a lot longer. Okay, but it's quite obvious in five years time, the new Mac OS updates, they're gonna require a bit more CPU power and your MacBook will probably slow down. It's just the way that Apple works. I mean, look what happened with the iPhones. They acknowledged that they were slowing down the phones. Uh, saying that, iPhone 6s, 6s and 7s are still around. Um, but yeah, in five years time, you'll have no issue doing regular stuff. Okay, so unified memory is quite cool. And I'll read out the description. So it says the M1 chip brings up to 16 gigabytes of super fast unified memory. The single pool of high bandwidth, low latency memory allows apps to share data between the CP CPU GPU and neural engine efficiently. Okay, so it does take out some of the RAM for, sorry, some of the memory for graphics processing, which is why if you're doing any 3D modeling, it could slow your machine down. Okay, but if you're like the rest of us, I mean, I do 4K editing on the eight gigabyte machine and it's absolutely fine. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe, please. The channel is growing and I'm approaching 400 subscribers. Uh, very grateful for that. Thank you for the support and until next time.